The public art program uh, aims to bring out uh, art and culture from behind museum walls to the public. This is to increase uh, accessibility to the public. Uh, traditionally, people would feel um, that uh, going to museums or galleries is something that is exclusive, which is not correct. But we're trying to encourage that through bringing the art to the public. And we believe that art um, has an impact on people, their livelihood, uh, the, their quality of life, and uh, even in the neighborhoods. For example, if you put an artwork uh, in a neighborhood, the uh, price of uh, the real estate goes up. So there is impact uh, of, uh, uh, for, for public art. And that's just to name the, uh, an economic benefit. We're trying to be leaders in that field, uh, to be uh, uh, some, uh, one of the most important in the world, and it's led by Her Excellency, our chairperson, uh, Sheikh al Miyas Abd Hamid al-Thani. There is a, a wrong impression that the World Cup is the end of the road, or this is the, it's just the beginning. Um, we, Qatar has always had ambitions and goals, and uh, we looked at the uh, uh, in Qatar Museum, we looked at the uh, World Cup as an opportunity that would accelerate growth and to send um, uh, like a, a cultural uh, message to the world where we can uh, build uh, bridges with other cultures. And it was an uh, absolutely great opportunity. This brings to mind a saying by Her Excellency, um, uh, to globalize the local and localize the global. So basically for us to be able to export our culture, and to introduce it, we have to be open to uh, receive and, uh, and discuss other cultures. And that's how we create dialogue. Qatar Creates is, is, uh, is, uh, is basically, in my opinion, it's like an economic engine. Uh, it, it plays into the role of, um, or the vision of Qatar 2030. Um, it's a platform to amplify the offerings of Qatar uh, museums and to uh, accelerate uh, the, the, the artistic or cultural industry. Uh, when it talks about fashion and design and creativity.